Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Cole. Sunday night, January 24th, moving into week four of Political Science 1013 for the spring 2021 term. Everyone, the main thing we have on the agenda this week is the first exam, exam one, which we will take for 24 hours. It'll be available to you all day Thursday, the 28th. That is one day later than was listed on the syllabus. The night before, Wednesday night, the 27th, we plan on chatting for 45 minutes in the online chat room, more than likely beginning at 7 o'clock Central Time in advance of the midterm exam the following day. Expect 50 two false and multiple choice items. Expect 10 or 15 of those to be repeated from quizzes 1 and 2. So please look back closely at the readings that you were assigned for quizzes 1 and 2. That will make up about one-third not quite one-third of the exam. So expect several items from those two quizzes to be repeated. So please look at those readings that you were assigned for the first two quizzes. And in addition to that, the material will come from the class notes for units one and two. Also the assigned textbook readings expect maybe half a dozen readings based more or less exclusively on the textbook and the remainder of them, about 30 of the items on the exam, from the class notes. Thinking very quickly about what we've looked at in Units 1 and 2. Unit 1 was called Political Participation, and we've talked first of all about different ways in which you could participate, conventional and unconventional. Then we moved on to talk about voting in elections, which is a big part of Unit 1. And we talked about the issues of both turnout, and vote choice. Remember, those are two separate and distinct questions, because you must decide to turn out before you can make a vote choice. There are some voters and some non-voters and some people who vote sometimes, and the people who vote the most often tend to have different characteristics from those who vote rarely or not at all, which is kind of an important issue for our system. Then looking at political parties and pressure groups, we looked at the functions of political parties, what they do, what kind of organizations they are, uh, the issue of why there are only two such major political parties in the United States, and then the history of the two major political parties going back especially to the 1930s up through the present day, and the changes that have taken place and the twists and turns that they've gone through especially in the kinds of people who support them, which has shifted somewhat from the 1930s to the present day, the 1930s being when the parties took on much of their present character. Then finally, whereas there are only two major parties, there are many thousands of pressure groups, large and small, who try to influence the government indirectly on behalf of the interests of their members, often but not exclusively economic interests, through such activities as lobbying and also making contributions to candidates who need to raise funds to run for office. So that in a nutshell is what we'll be looking at for the first exam on Thursday the 28th and the night before. We will chat online for 45 minutes beginning at 7 p.m. So that's the task before you for this week, getting ready for exam one. So we we'll plan on chatting with you, those of you who would like to, Wednesday evening in the online chat room. And then we wish you good luck on your exam, which will take place all day Thursday the 28th. After Thursday, we'll be getting an assignment out on the mass media. We'll take quiz three on the mass media a week or so after exam one, a week or 10 days. And that will be one of two units we will study in preparation for the midterm exam, exam two, along with unit four on the Constitution. Well, that's what we'll be doing later this week after the exam. You, will, of course, want to, I'm sure, wait until after the exam before taking a look at that, most of you. All right, so we will take the exam on Thursday when we plan on chatting for 45 minutes Wednesday evening before we take the exam. So, study hard, good luck, and those of you who would like to, we will see you in the chat room Wednesday beginning at 7 o'clock Central Time before we take the exam all day Thursday. Good night and good luck.